Dragon Ball Super Chapter 80 Gas vs Granola Part 2 The two current strongest in the universe is Gas and Granola and they're still fighting it out. One is trying to avenge his whole family for what the heaters have done to him and his mother and the other one is just a dick. Gas has stopped using his original ability and has to make weapons out of thin air. Instead, he's using his new abilities ever since the wish has been made on himself to become strongest in the universe. While Gas is technically the strongest, he still lacks the skills to be the strongest. Everyone watching the battle is still noticing that. But it doesn't take Gas long to grow accustomed to Granola's moves, even Vegeta points this out. Gas starts beating Granola's ass now, charges directly at Granola, and doesn't realize another Granola hits him right from the side, a kick straight to the face. And while his body is sent flying, another Granola appears behind him and kicks him again. The battle has just shifted, Granola has now created clones and starts blasting a bunch of energy blasts towards Gas's way. So Granola still has a couple more tricks up his sleeves, but it doesn't seem to do much. While clones is cool and all, the only problem with making clones is it splits your power. And that doesn't really help when you're facing against the strongest in the universe. Luckily for Granola, Gas gets a little bit overconfident and starts impaling all the clones, not really paying attention to the main body. This gives Granola the opportunity to strike directly at Gas. And he beams Gas point blank range and sends Gas flying. So it's a good sudden shift, but it's not enough. To make matters worse, the other downside about the clones is any damage taken by the clones is felt by Granola's actual body. So while it was worth it to get a direct hit on Gas, it wasn't worth it in all the damage that Gas put out on all these other clones that Granola is now feeling. So now we have Gas on his back and the heaters are trying to support him and this next part is just plain out ridiculous. Apparently Gas has some kind of hidden power and the other heater starts freaking out when Elect rips the headband off of Gas's head. But this isn't an exclusive thing to Gas, I think it's more towards the heaters themselves because the female heater, she says that it's a bad idea, when our instincts are unleashed we lose all sense of ourselves. But he's done it, Gas has now unleashed a new power and he looks way more badass this way. I prefer this Gas 100% and I haven't even seen him fight yet. Monaito recognizes this look from Gas as this is the same look that he saw with his own eyes 40 years ago when Gas was facing against Bardock. You can tell from Gas's eyes that he lost all sense just like the female heater said because he's just not seeing anything at all and he charges straight for Gas. He's on his broly shit right now because he starts swinging around Gas like a rag doll. I always liked it when the brutes of Dragon Ball ended up fighting like this because it really shows the brutality behind them and the damage that they can really cause their opponents. It feels like it's GG for Granola at this point because formerly he was facing strongest in the universe and this is before the power up and now he's just getting decimated on the battlefield. So much that Gas takes Granola's head and shoves it right into the ground and just starts going deep into the ground. After he eventually tosses him and goes towards his body once more, Granola already looks defeated and Gas continues to start pounding on his face, like really pounding the fuck out of his face with his fist. To be honest with you, with the way that Gas is right now, I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of this arc, Oatmeal is just in pieces. Because the way that these hands are now, shit. But Oatmeal's right there actually, right on this panel, you can see that he's miraculously in one piece. The next part from this is just plain out jokes. So, Gas is obviously in an uncontrolled state. He's losing his fucking mind. He hits his two comrades of the heaters, pushes them out the way, hits his own head against a rock. And the Lek is over there just acting cool right after seeing all this and convinced that it's fine and Gas should have a greater control over his own power. And then the next most random thing that I didn't even expect happens. I could honestly say that I was fucking dying of laughter when I saw this shit happen because like it was just so random. Gas is in an out of control state and he just rushes towards Vegeta out of nowhere and decks Vegeta. Just look at Vegeta's face right here. He wasn't ready for this shit, bro. This was just pure disrespectful, okay? What did Vegeta do? Like, I know you were fighting beforehand, but now this was just uncalled for. And it doesn't stop with the kicks either. He starts punching Vegeta a couple more times and Goku has to charge in and save his ass for a second. As Goku tries to save Vegeta, Gas blocks Goku's punch and sees an image of Bardock because they look so much alike. Recalling the very night that he fought Bardock. To be honest, it looks like the fight that Bardock had against Gas, Bardock ended up getting a lucky final blast on Gas, and that's the reason that the fight ended. Hopefully we get a little bit more context behind it. Bardock probably had to think of a strategic plan to do this final blast though. But something snaps in Gas, and he begins to control himself. Exiting the brute form that he once had, Gas is now in stable condition, and it looks like it's a new awakening. It looks like a whole new appearance for him. 
Well, not drastically different. He just has the horns coming out of his head now. Say that I have bad memory, but I don't recall Alex saying he was related to Gas either. But he's proud of Gas now. Gas has controlled himself and says his little brother is now the strongest in the universe for real. This changes what I believed beforehand. I thought that Alec would have ulterior motives and wouldn't let Gas control him. Maybe he still does. Maybe. But now that I see that they're brothers now, this is just brothers supporting brothers. And they're going to be trying to control everything together. And the chapter ends right here with Gas's new awakening. And it looks like it's going to be a problem now. It looks like all three is going to have to fight against Gas to stop him for good. Thank you guys for watching. Like and sub if you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate it. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one.